Hey everyone, this is Abdulmi from Luna Studios, and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys uh, how to create this fireball in Hand Effect uh, with using uh, After Effect and a free plugin called uh, Saber from Beauty Copilot. So let's check out the effect first, and uh, I'll be back then. So here I am in After Effects so uh, before we start let me beg you for something. Uh, if you don't like this video and just watch it and go go away with the just weave, uh, it won't help me. I really want your likes. It helps me a lot and do subscribe to the video because it helps more than the like. And uh, if you can sh just share my video in Facebook groups or anything it helps me a lot too so that's all with begging so let's move on to uh, the tutorial so here I am uh, with my video uh, here is uh, my video rough video I don't know what raw video you call it so I'm just doing this and here we are so and before we create uh, our fireball uh, we gotta track our hand so the fireball moves exactly uh, as our hand moves so that's uh, we gotta do so I tracked my hand in mocha mocha AE so uh, what you gotta do is just select your footage and go to animation and track in mocha AE so here we are in Mocha AE. So you you gotta make sure that uh, all of the setting are same as your video. So my video is HD and frame rate. Uh, that's the most important thing. Uh, I I've got uh, 23.976 frame rate on my uh, video. So if you have 25, 24, uh, you must choose that. Uh, or if you choose something wrong, it won't work. So just click OK. So after that, go to the point where you where video starts so I'll start in here so this finger looks good to me so I'll just create what you call mask is it mask right click and it will end the mask so uh, track forward like this so it will track right with the finger so track the whole footage when you get the whole track uh, just uh, go to the last point of the track like uh, it's m for example it's my last point and go to uh, export tracking data and after effect transform data position scale and rotation copy to clipboard and here we copied it go to the first frame of your comp first frame uh, right click new null object so here is my null object and go to edit paste paste your tracking data so it will uh, copy all the tracking data to this null and this null will uh, imitate all the tracking data so so here I've got uh, the track for my whole f whole finger movement so from here up to the last point where I close my hand I've got this track now let's leave it here now we gotta create that fireball so to create that fireball let me create a new solid so here is my solid uh, go to ellipse tool and create a, a circle circular mask on the solid like this go to effect and type in saber saber here we are in saber and go and select fire I selected fire for the the core of the fireball and customize core go to and select layer mask so it will follow the path of a layer go to uh, render setting alpha mode and mask core so so we will get something like this the glow will stay uh, as it is but uh, the core will be uh, just uh, I don't know what you call it masked masked in now let's play with the setting we need a bigger core more intense glow I think we are good with it 
transform mode and put it on add and scale it as you want this looks perfect now duplicate the layer like this and solo it so we can play with it reset the layer and go to customize layer masks as we selected before so I selected core for this so it looks good now just increase the size so we go to scale and here we are core size play with it now do the same for the second increase the size so here we are with our second one just play with the setting how much you want intensity is setting and everything now go to the flicker write down the customize score there's a flicker and push this to 30 the I'm talking about the core one so put it on 150 after that flicker for this first string push that to 30 that to 200 that 30 150 now this is what we want right now now parent the first one and the second one to core so whenever we move core the rings also move with it and then parent the core to null object so it moves along with your hand like like it's moving right now so it's moving with your hand so after that uh, there's something some manual uh, scaling and positioning too so I'll go to the point where I need them where I Cl close my hand so here just press P then hold shift and press S so we have position and scale so here we are I'll go frame by frame so here our um, null stops its motion so put our keyframe on position here go back a frame and move it along your hand just like this so it's, l it's it's looking fine after that go to the exact frame where you start your put a keyframe here go to the frame where and the hand is completely closed and turn the scale to zero right there so it looks something like this so now we, we gotta do the same thing at the end too so that's how it's gonna look right now now <coughs> everything is done uh, all we gotta do now is just uh, uh, put some mat on our fingers so the the what you call the fireball stays behind your hand so for that you need to duplicate your f footage put the duplicate above everything and create a new solid and turn off the solid and then start masking your fingers one by one click M and mask path go one frame ahead and just play with the mask what do you call a roto it's called a rotoscoping frame by frame for everything do the exact same thing for start and uh, for end so and, and I will be back when I am finished with this thing so here I have uh, the mats so when I need them they start motion so 
moves exactly uh, along my finger so you can see now what I'm talking about here it is now in the end I've got other two so it moves after you have created just delete the footage and uh, we've got a mat duplicate uh, no just select both of them control shift C or go to layer precompose and just precomp mm, both of them now precomp the core plus the null object so precomp all of them fireball so it's fireball go to fireball and change the transform mode to add again we have a mats above uh, the fireball so just go and alpha mat inverted so here we are so I've got actually I've got uh, uh, so you can play with it with your mat uh, this mat that I created was for other fireball that I've created earlier so I'm just gonna bring that fireball here it looks perfect to me right now <coughs> now uh, let's play with the core again just double click the uh, fireball comp go to core go to effects and turbulent displacement so we need some disturbance in the core size turn down the size 10 would be perfect amount looks good right now for me now go to evolution and uh, hold alt and press on keyframe type in time star 500 so it doesn't stay the same it moves and after that go on and type in fast blur put the fast blur on <coughs> core sorry push it up around 8 or 6 I think so it's something like this after that go to the final we've got our f uh, fire effect so now it's time for the glow on hands and uh, on chest so for that duplicate your footage turn transform mode to add so it's glowy right now and uh, just mm, create a simple mask on the fingers and uh, type in feather and animate that mask so as the hand moves move that mask too with it like this play with the opacity uh, if you think it's too bright you can play with the opacity anytime so duplicate the same footage delete this mask and just create a mask around your chest like this and feather it out too I created different layers for hand and chest so we don't need any more warmness or warmth uh, in in this area but uh, this kinda looks blue but uh, the the fireball is uh, yellowish so just put curves in here and just go to blue and turn down blue so this too looks like a warm color so feather it out so play with these two opacity so I've got mask I've animation right here and uh, I've got keyframes on opacity too so here its opacity is a uh, hundred percent as you can see hundred percent here its maximum is fifty four percent and as it as the fireball uh, scales down the opacity also decreases up to zero so we've got opacity increasing hundred percent sixty three percent and then the same thing happens in the end to the opacity decreases so the same thing happens with the chest too we've got feather 
chest doesn't really move so I've got no uh, keyframes on mass part so I've got uh, keyframes on mass capacity just on mass capacity so it decreases down to zero here it decreases down to zero again so here we are with the glow so after some uh, color correction and uh, everything uh, here are my re results go to fireball and turn on the motion blur for uh, every layer not null we don't need motion on null object uh, matte also turn on for this one so after that here is the result I really hope you've enjoyed this video and liked uh, the way I do this effect uh, and uh, I want you guys to come up with new ways so uh, I can learn from you guys too. So uh, please uh, write down below uh, what you think about my tutorials and if you enjoyed this tutorial please check out my previous tutorials they are pretty awesome too and uh, I hope uh, you guys come back and press that like button please I really need likes on my video and that uh, subscribe button and uh, please do share this video so everybody can get help out of it and uh, see you in next video till then bye bye and one thing please suggest what you want uh, a tutorial for I uh, I really it's really hard for me to come up with ideas for tutorial so please suggest what you want me to do in next video